people, the culture, met the most incredible, incredibly talented silversmiths that have possessed a technique for making silver jewelry that has been around for many hundreds of years. And thanks to Andrew, we are able to bring these pieces to HSN because it is one of the most difficult areas in the world to import beautiful jewelry from. So what an absolute pleasure to welcome you back. How are you doing? I'm great, Colleen. Great Good to, to see you. you. Yes. And so I guess it's a, there's a big event going on in, in Nepal is. right now. In the Himalayas. In the Himalayas. Nepal Himalayas. is on just on the other side of Mount Everest from the country of Tibet. Okay. And many uh, Tibetan women are involved in the production of the necklace that uh, Colleen was showing you. And so I just want to say Tashi Delek. This is the uh, ancient greeting from Tibet. Tashi Delek? Delek. Tashi or Delek. You can actually pronounce okay. it either way. Because tonight at midnight, just when you, uh, Colleen was launching for today's special was the beginning of the year of the female iron rabbit. How so about this that? is year 2038, and it's considered to be a most auspicious year, especially for women. The so, female iron rabbit. rabbit. That's right. I love it. And it's the, the festival of Losar. That's beautiful. So uh, that's, it's a, you know, it's really a, a fascinating region. Everything you see here is made by traditional craftspeople working the ways of their forefathers. This country was closed to the world until 1955, so the traditional craft survived. The uh, ring that we're looking at now, the mm -hmm. Masset Sit, mm -hmm. that Colleen introduced to before, this is beautiful Masset Sit. A lot of the time, go into the, and I always say to people, you know, it's a wonderful place to compare. You won't see it with these brilliant green tones very often, especially in the 13 by 18 size. So true. And at this price, you know, even in Bangkok, where the, the person who collects these stones for us, he's one of the world's experts in this gemstone. Mm -hmm. you, you know, right now, we, we could hardly get the stones for, you know, we wouldn't be able to sell the stone at this price, basically. Exactly. No, you're absolutely right. No, yes. it's true. And I will tell you, that's one of the largest moss sit stones we've ever seen. A beautiful color, too. Look at that. And I will tell you, there's only a few hundred. This is one of the only ones we even offer at HSN. I know a lot of times when we work with Himalayan gems, every time Andrew's here, we want to show you moss sit sit. We rarely, you usually this is say the last no. Time. I mean, right usually now it's like we have they no don't more have access. the stones. Exactly. Right. This is it. So when this sells out, you won't see this back. It's just, it's special. There's a couple hundred only. There's a lot of silver in this design. The design is absolutely beautiful. And for under $100, this is what you are ordering. Understand, you know, and I think you do understand this. We all, I think those of us that love jewelry, we realize there is a major difference in jewelry between something that is cast and mass produced and something that is completely made by hand. This is totally made by hand. And just, I know we have to move, but before we go, talk to us a little bit about the technique for making this ring. The way, what we do is we work in partnership with several uh, family owned workshops. These are all traditional jewelers. Most of uh, these jewelers, their ancestors were the court jewelers, and we'll talk more about them. But basically, they start with a block of silver. They had three to five percent copper, and so it is marked uh, sterling silver, but it's typically 95 uh, percent plus purity. Then all of the work is done. The junior members, they start around 18 or 19 years old if they're lucky, because it's one of the best paying jobs around. They're the ones who pound the silver out, who make the plate. The very experienced jewelers who typically...